Welcome to a post-apocalyptic world where resources are scarce. And only your wits stand between survival and certain doom. Are you ready? Let's go. We're here for GIC Safe House with Ben and Norel. I'm here to interact with people and learn more. My girlfriend invited me over to GIC Safe House because she told me it would be a very enriching experience. I didn't know what it was going to be like. So I was quite curious. I think when we were designing Safe House, we started with the question of how can we make learning about investment principles experiential? And that was what Safe House was born out of. And the objective of it was to get enough reserves. And to do yeah. that, you can do a whole bunch of things. And also you have to uh, be smart about it because you have mm. to buy uh, units. Um, there was constant dialogue. There was a flurry of activity. And also games. Yeah. We are really competitive. We are very competitive. Yeah. It was a very good pedagogy to introduce this concept of investing to that age group, getting them involved you know, in a very tactile, cognitive way. And you've got days. There is a linear fashion that we have to adhere to. Um, and so you really see the progression of thought, changing of strategies. And again, these are all beautiful analogies of real-world situations, right? Wow, people should hire us to help the investment GIC. I don't think that we would no, do that. No, 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 not really. But not we, at we'll all. write a theme song for you. <laughs> yeah. Through the play, right? It's like a very simple game, but then we can learn like a lot of skills, like maybe long-term planning. As a teenager, when we make decisions, we don't ever plan ahead. So this really helps us, yeah. I'm a big fan of those resources kind of game. I think it's actually like pretty smart of them to actually make us all more aware of investing through like games like this. Uh, I also learned how to prepare and not predict. To me, I was able to learn uh, many skills of investment through games, so it wasn't like something like lecture where it was boring. I actually was not exposed to much risk taking throughout my ed education year, so this actually gave me a bit of a taste of what taking risk is like. All of us have limited choices, but we have to choose and play by our strengths as well. Uh, for me, the value that resonated the most is uh, play to your strength. Interestingly enough, and funny you should say that, uh, I feel like I'm the exact opposite. Um, and so for me, it was really important to be risk aware. It's not a thing where you say, oh, I only have to learn about investing when I'm older. You can actually start at any time. And, and really understanding it broadens your perspective on life in general and uh, you should play it, you should try it out, yeah. I think the greatest achievement always is uh, looking at young people and seeing how their confidence just grows in a short span of two and a half hours and Safe House is just aimed at having young people learn about investment principles uh, uh, that really gets to the heart of what it is they're supposed to learn. We survived! But what do you? 